Goku has done the impossible by transforming into his Omni Super Saiyan 3 and he took care of business as Boo didn't stood a chance against him. In the last part we mentioned that Goku and everyone had 5 years of training and relaxing with their family and love what and from there within those 5 years Dai Chicken came to train Goku while Whis and Miris came to train Vegeta and everyone else so they could all have God Key. While they're busy training, Iroh made sure that Z-Fars has a big fighter at their hand and that is no one other than Majin Buu. He managed to give Majin Buu the power to have Omni power and now he came to confront Goku. Everyone went and started to attack Buu but he easily went and one shot everyone until Goku went and he transformed to his Omni Super Saiyan 3, a power which no one thought would be possible but Goku made it possible happen as he defeated Buu easily without even trying. What is going on my Z fans? Welcome back to this part of what if Goku was born and omnipotent. Before we begin this what if, please drop a like, I'll greatly appreciate it, that shows you guys appreciate my hard work. And if you haven't already, check out my backstory hero of Z, what are you guys waiting for? Click the link inside the pinned comment section below and watch it, trust me, you're gonna love this series. It is an ongoing series but it's very awesome and badass. Goku has now gone and defeated Majin Buu using his Omni Super Saiyan 3 nevertheless. This form of Goku was actually an easy form for him to easily destroy Majin Buu but at the same time Goku was very impressed to see that his power was so high compared to before. He couldn't believe that he was wielding such power. With that Goku and everyone went to Boma's place to celebrate their victory and while they're celebrating Dai Shinken has arrived. As he saw Goku and from there Goku looked towards him and said Oh hey Dai Shinken, have you seen the power I use? Of course I did Goku, I'm always watching over you. But just so you know, that power isn't your omnipotent form. What? What do you mean? I mean, you still got way more to do before you ever achieve that form. This form isn't even close to what your form should be. Darn it! You're saying after all that power I have, I'm still not at my peak? Then what's it gonna take for me to get to my peak power Dai Shinken? It's like no matter what I do, we're always going to be at the same page. I know, and yet it's kind of complicated, I don't know what to do either. Hmm, I think I might have an idea Goku. Huh? What's that? <laughs> I have a, actually a very good idea, but for that, you're going to have to come on a journey with me. We'll be gone for at least a few years. A few years, huh? That is right, because we're going to do exactly what Iroh did. What Iroh did? And what's that? Just follow me, let's go. I want you to say goodbye to everyone and let's begin our journey. Alright, sounds good. With that, after celebrating, Goku said goodbye to his loved ones as now it was time for him to leave with Dai Shinken. Dai Shinken went and took Goku to Zuno's place. At Zuno's place, once when they arrived, Zuno was amazed to see Goku since he knew that Goku is the omnipotent and from there he bowed to Goku. Goku did not like all this bowing down stuff and from there, Dai Shinken looked towards Zuno and said, Listen Zuno. We have reached our peak. Yeah, I know. That's why you guys are here. You forgot I'm psychic. I know everything. Well, then if, if you know why I'm here, what can I do? Honestly, you should time travel. Go to a different timeline. Since Goku is the omnipotent, he's able to handle all that pressure and could do it easily. Do exactly what Iroh did. If Iroh's cheating the game to make you guys lose, you should do the same. That is right. That was kind of my idea too. After all, he is a grand priest and so am I. I'm gonna use a time ring. Alright Goku, let's go. We're gonna go to a different timeline and hopefully one of the Gokus there can train you. One of the Gokus can train me? I'm confused, what's going on? This time ring right here will allow us to time travel to a different timeline. A completely different place which will allow you to meet with another Goku. Who knows how powerful that is? I'm gonna try searching to see one of the strongest Goku and once we get to meet him, he could probably train you and he'll help you unleash your true omnipotent power. Really? So you're saying that he could actually help me train myself, huh? I mean, that would be awesome. Me training me? <laughs> well then, let's begin the journey then. Thank you very much, Zuno. We'll be back very soon. Yeah, I know. You guys are going to take at least about three years from now. Well, whatever it takes, we cannot let Ira win this war. With that, Dai Shinken went and he used a time rank as they decide to go and travel to a different timeline. And once when they ring it, they end up leaving to a complete new timeline. The timeline that Goku and Dai Shiken arrive was the timeline of Goku T23's video called What If Goku Was Sent to Zeno's World. 
since that Goku was pretty much born as an Omni Goku himself too and whatnot, they had the idea that he will be the one to help Goku achieve the power he needs to and become the omnipotent that he has been born to be. Once when they arrived, they arrived to Daishinkin's world as Daishinkin saw another Daishinkin come and say, What the? What is another me doing here? Greetings. I'm actually from a different timeline. I'm from a timeline where this Goku here was born to be an omnipotent. Whoa. So you're from that timeline, huh? Interesting. Well, you know what timeline we're from. I do. This is a timeline where Goku was sent to Zeno's place to learn from me since he was a baby, right? That is right. <laughs> well, I'm here to actually for the hopes that this Goku could probably train this Goku and help him to get stronger. Well, you came to the right place then. Well, let's go. He's inside waiting. Goku was very amazed to see that the Zeno's world has become actually Goku's world. And when they went inside the Zeno's palace, he saw himself was sitting down there where Zeno used to sit. With that, he got up and said, Huh? What the? Who is this? Uh, yo! Hi! I'm Goku! Well, I guess from what I gathered, I'm from a timeline where I was born an omnipotent, and you're from a timeline where you were sent to Zeno's world? <laughs> yep, that is true. That's me. They call me Omni Goku. My god, your power is like I cannot even sense it. How strong are you? Hmm, <laughs> would you like to find out? Sure, why not? With that, before Goku can even do anything, their battle has begun as Goku tried to go use his Omni Super Saiyan 3 form, but Omni Goku went and one-shotted Goku, getting him to pass out. Once when Goku got up, he then saw that Omni Goku stood over him and said, You got a lot to learn. I'm glad you came here. I'll train you, and I'll make sure you're ready for any war that needs to happen in your timeline. I'm guessing that's why you're here, right? Something bad's happening? Something really bad is happening, yes. Well then, you came to the right place. Let's begin training. As Omni Goku went and he started training the present timeline Goku. They spend day and night training, doing everything they can to make sure they are ready and that Goku achieves the form he needs to achieve by the time he returns right back on Earth. His own goal here is to achieve the omnipotent state. And once when he achieves that, that is when Goku has reached his highest peak. And that will be the time when no one will be able to stand a chance against Goku. And while they were training, back in the original timeline, Iroh sensed that the time ring was missing. And from there, he had a feeling that Dai Shinkin took the present Goku to go and meet other people so he could train. So he decided to use a time ring himself to go to another timeline where he'll bring one of the scariest foe that Goku has ever faced. AKA Goku Black. Once when he went to that timeline, he then recruited Black, as Black saw that this angel is an angel nevertheless, not a mortal, and he also hates mortal just like him. They both decided to agree to work together, as Iroh offered to train him and give him all the training and necessary he needs to beat Goku once when he arrives. I hate that Goku as it is, I'll gladly kill him, not without my training. I'll make sure you have achieved Omni form. Oh, so you think I could achieve such power, huh? Of course. Don't forget, the Super Dragon was under my control. I'm able to make it happen. Well then, let's do it. Let's begin the fight. As they begun training with one another, and now three years has passed as Goku and Omni Goku finished their training. Thank you very much for training me, Omni Goku. I definitely could see I have achieved a lot. Oh. I could definitely see that too. I cannot wait for you to go use your newfound powers, Goku. Well, I'm excited myself. Thank you. As they both shook each other's hand, and from there, Goku said his goodbye. Daishiken said his goodbye to his counterpart, and now they have arrived right back to their original timeline. With that, Goku did not want to waste any time, as they decided to go to planet Earth. But little did they knew, Earth was in trouble as it is. On Earth, a lot of stuff has been destroyed, as a lot of life forces were gone, but from there, the Z-Fires were all gathered in one place as they were training and working together to stop this evil foe. And this evil foe was no one other than Goku Black. Since his training has been done with Iroh, he sent him to come to this world so he could go and destroy everyone and kill Goku. With that, the Goku arrived as all the Z-Fires saw him and they were very happy to see Goku and all. And now they felt the confidence to go and fight with Goku Black. They then decided to go and confront him as they all arrived to where Goku Black was, and when they saw Goku Black, he saw them and said, 
Ah, so this is where you've been hiding the whole time, Goku. Naughty man. I have actually been waiting to kill you here. I'm right here. Let's see what you got then. And I know exactly who you are. Goku Black. So what timeline you're from? Everyone was very confused when they heard about this timeline and Goku Black and not. But from there, Goku Black decided to not waste any time as he went and he transformed into his Super Saiyan Rose. This is the power I'm gonna use now to end your guy's life. Broly went and he transformed into his legendary Super Saiyan Blue as he charged right towards Goku Black and he tried to hit him, but Goku Black easily went and dodged all of Broly's hit. And before he could make the next move, Piccolo went and striked him in his face. Vegeta went and striked him in his stomach, while Goku went and transformed to his Omni Super Saiyan 3. Upon using that form, Goku went and started to beat the shit out of Black. Since he did train with Omni Goku, his power had a huge boost and he managed to hold his own and beat the crap out of him. As Omni Goku didn't stood a chance against Goku, and from there Goku went and he decided to power up a blast to kill him, but Black began to laugh and say, What is the hurry, Goku? Why do you want me dead so badly? Cause you're evil. I don't want you living in my place. I'm gonna make sure I end your life here and now. Now die! Oh yeah? Then let me show you something too! Goku Black has now gone and transformed into his Omni form, the form which Iroh trained him for. You can call me Omni Goku Black. Are you ready to die now? To find out what happened next, my Z fan, make sure you click the bell as we have Omni Goku Black fighting with the current Goku. Where will Goku stand against this newfound power of Goku Black? Is he toasted or does Goku gonna use his power that he has trained with Omni Goku for the last three years? All this will be answered in the next part. If you haven't joined my Discord server yet, what are you guys waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it. And please just make sure you check out my backstory, Hero of Z. It is pinned inside the comment section below. Check it out so you'll be the first to know when this next episode comes out. It is an ongoing series and trust me, you're going to really enjoy this series.